Support the production of Satellite City by signing up to Render Street, a rendering solution without breaking the bank. You are what simians would call Eve, the first in a new age of biology, the first successful subject to our genetic splicing, a hybrid, a perfect mixture. I'll wear this scar with dignity, not shame. Keep talking and you'll be the most dignified fucking squirrel in the Northwest. Quinn? It, uh, it got out. Hayden is to blame. Go with Fontaine and Wexel back to the settlement. Once there, Fontaine will take charge. You are to spread the word to all other settlements that Hayden is dismissed of his loyalties and is to be brought before me. Failing that, he is to be executed. Ludwig plays his game with efficiency. Let us not forget his nature. Crafty and careful. Dorothy and I must rebuttal with equal care. Ludwig is strong. Hayden speaks wisdom. Ludwig will be near unbeatable with Fontaine and Lucy at his side. Their counsel grants him eyes. Eyes from the back of his skull. Cowards! Have thou lost thy courage? Did thou not have it in mine empire? Will thou be beaten by yellow striped observer? Be my eyes as I am thy tongue. Be my claws as I am thy arm. Be my blood as I am thy body. Be my mouth as I am thy voice. Let me live and let me dine on the flesh of kin. You should not tell her of this, but Helgen certainly has a way with money laundering. Makes me think back to my youth. <laughs> you were ever young? Ha! Indeed, I believe you knew me well. Too well. I was always the one trying to catch you. Breaking Lockett's laws was not something many could get away with. Yet, you did. Built an empire right under her nose. I'd say I played her pretty well. <laughs> play her. You and that old sombra placed Ludwig and Lucy at the heart of the political arena and had them pass the laws that you dictated. And thus I was an outlaw no more. I simply legitimized my trade, dear girl. You did more than that. Ludwig is grand voice now and Lockett is no more. You and sombra you installed a government. And we did away with another. Lockett was a true Kipuakian, and Lockett's law made us strong, but that... Dizzy Jones, that Mandus, he tore it all down while she watched. You have to wonder if that's what Lockett's plan was all along, if she played us. What I truly wonder is how Luna is handling things in Vegas. She's my whisper. I trust her to keep the engine running. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you, I will help you, I will uphold you with my righteous hand, or... or some shit. Yeshua? Aye, Luna. It be me. The fuck are you doing here in Vegas? Eh, pour me a fucking drink, darling, I'll tell you all. I'm whispered to Fontaine, and I don't serve turncoats. So bigger fool am I for turning coat to a rogue such as Ludwig and his high-stack sycophants. Ludwig is the only reason we're alive. I'll not hear of it. Why are you here? You would have received word from a messenger today. I saw fit to carry it, to better explain the situation. To put it simply, shit's hit the fan. 
So, let me get this straight. So I don't go fucking mad right here now. That creature got out again? And she was let loose by Hayden? Aye, hence my telling of this with tongue, not letter or raven. Fontaine will remain in England, you are to take charge here. Ludwig has also requested the presence of both Mystique and Titania. I... Why betray us now? He was loyal. He remains as such. Is it true treachery to hold one's master's commands past their day of power? He is loyal. To Lockett. Lockett was the Grand Voice. Then the Kivouac, our home, was destroyed. Ludwig rules now. And some would still back Lockett should she ever return. She won't. She may yet. Would, you... would I ever defect to Lockett's law? No. Lockett was the strongest of us, surely the wisest. Yet she paved the way for madness, who then destroyed us. I see. I'll fetch the girls then. For fuck's sake, Luna, why is that thing here? Hey, Bob is under my protection. Am I a good boy, Mama Pew? Yes, you are. You want squishy? <gasps> I have squishy squishy time with Mama Pew. You really ought to kill that thing. Ludwig ordered the previous hybridization experiments destroyed after Heisenblank. Mama Pew, who's the red kitty? Does he love me too? Oh, Bob, of course he does. Luna? Leave him alone. He's harmless. Why can't you just let him love? Oh, for fuck's sake, we went to war together. We lost everyone. Love is long, complicated, and difficult. That's what makes it love, I reckon. I bled in the dirt for the ones I love. We all did. And you wonder why we all hate that thing. Snuggling into your palm as if it's entitled to your affection and getting it for free. Yes, you are! Nothing good will come of this unnatural relationship. I love you, Mama Blue. <laughs> <laughs> I love you too, Bob. It seems to be the work of your Kivouakian genetics. The wound is healing at a rapid pace, however your body is experiencing some chemical side effects. So, is this it then? Am I just an experiment to you? Yes. This troubles you. No. I just understand now. The way things are. Make no mistake, Heisenthler, you are remarkable. We've been trying hybridization for centuries. Many failures there have been, and only one success. You. Does this mean I have a chance to, to be respected as a Kivawakian? Yes. Prove your strength, prove your intellect and your power. Lucy has already assisted you in this. She wanted to hurt me. To shame me. If she really wanted that, we wouldn't be having this conversation, would we? Be it mice or men, sheep or ram, slave or master, there is an order of things. We do not dictate it, we cannot control it, but there is always one above. Life is but a pyramid. And who's at the top? Me. Cool, blimey! How long will this take? My back is fucking killing! Oh, shut up, you little prick. I'm nearly finished. Twat off, you dopey mong. Of course, that's not real art. Come on now, Lucy. We've been through this a million times. Art is a broad term. Yeah, it's too broad. To the point of being undefinable. It's a fucking anti-definition. Nowadays, shit on the pavement's art. Go to a gallery, and you'll have entire canvases of what nothing worth millions. Perhaps that's the artistry of it. Selling shite for that type of scratch. The art business, eh? Oh, I don't agree with it. Laziness shouldn't be rewarded. Cutting corners and scheming. Sure, it's good business. It ain't art, though. Because not once, not once, is the imagination employed. It's all about the concept, for me. Like, what are you drawing? You. Right. So, at what point are you using your imagination? I exist. Nature has done all the hard work for you. You're just copying. I'm just tuning my skills, for fuck's sake. Ah, see? I don't deny that drawing a hyper-realistic me is skill, or even fucking impressive. But it 
doesn't make use of your imagination. You might as well take a picture. A fucking mindless camera could do what you're doing a billion times better. I like it when you like this, you know? Shut up and finish the fucking drawing. Thanks for helping me with the pumpkin shock. And what the fiddly fuck is going on here? I'm modelling for Shuck's drawing, I am. Never pegged you for a... for an artist, Shuck. I must say I'm... confused. When your life predates the existence of the fucking universe, you tend to pick up a few things. Except the ability to produce real art, it seems. Right. Hmm. What's he doing now? Employing imagination. Shock you fucking villain! Message for Ludwig from Fontaine. Holly, you're a messenger now. Nah, <laughs> not really. I've been helping Fontaine carry info around Liverpool. Says Felicity and Quinn the trouble. What with the distances they're doing. Holly! You're not going in to see Ludwig? I'll tell you what, I don't blame you. He gives me the shit. Uh, no, not sure. I can give you the message and you're on it by Ludwig. I need to get to Omskirt. Alright, fair enough. Lucy, I'm about to carve the pumpkin. Would you like to assist me? And by assist, I mean watch. Because you are not going anywhere near a fucking knife. Holly, over here a moment, will you? Be a good girl. You can't keep doing this to yourself. Winifred! I know... I know you think you deserve this. The pain, the humiliation, and... Perhaps you do. But you can't let the mistakes of your past dictate your future. The things you did to me, to, to Lucy, I... I know you regret. You need to let the past go. Every day you dwell on it, you breathe life into its lungs. Every moment you give it credence, it gains power. Don't give it your attention. Let it die. We all have shadows at our heels. You need not let them consume you. You, you need only turn on the light. You're certain the shipment will arrive on schedule? No offense, Ed, but you're about as trustworthy as a white van driver with candy in his pockets. One can only become trustworthy when he is trusted, Mystique. Yes, 150 Cuban cigars. Honest pay for honest work. Right. You've got two hours. Make it count, doll. Ed, I'm looking for Mystique, and for some fucking reason, I was told that she was with you. We're trading. Service for supplies. I can cut you in, if you like. I don't need no attention from you. So I'm not good enough. One of your own. But that husk of a balloon is... Just shut up! Where's Mystique? Who's asking? Me. Whisper to Fontaine. And Ludwig. The grand voice of the Kivoakians? Damn it. I'd say she was enjoying it so far. Put her back together and go take a hike, Ed. Really, Luna? When I'm walking? If I didn't know any better, I'd say you like being degraded. Two hours of humiliation for 150 cigars. It's worth it, though. Besides, nothing could be more degrading than relying on a failed hybridization experiment for love. Bob cares about me, alright? It isn't real. He loves everyone. He probably doesn't even know what love is. Just drop it, Mystique. Come on, let's go. Why? What's this about, Luna? It's about following orders. I have orders, whisper Luna, to keep Vegas running. I can't go to England, should the grid run into issues. You haven't exactly been playing with us, Joel. What's going on? She got out again. Fuck off. Language! What the fuck are you talking about? Did I stutter? 
Damn. There's more. Hayden aided in her escape. Hayden? I've got a long history with him. I don't believe he'd do this. Probably why Ludwig wants you. And Titania, your skills in electronics would be perfect for tracking this thing. These are orders from Ludwig, then. Yes. Isn't this exciting? Hell, we'll make a road trip of it. Hi, Yeshua. Yeshua. We? Me and the ladies. Ludwig asked for you. I'm the last guy Ludwig wants to see, I'm sure. No, I got business in Scotland. An old client has asked for my services. Your kill everyone and burn the body services. You're goddamn right. Mama Blue, Mama Blue! Oh, God <sighs> damn it. Shh. What is it, Bobbles? Bobbles? I'm hungry, Mama Blue. Damn it, Luna, we're talking serious shit. Get that fucker out of here. Does the right kitty have food for me, Mama Blue? You little fucking... <laughs> Joke on this, you little parasite. <laughs> Yeshua! Stop it, Yeshua! You're hurting him! Stop it! Yeshua, just leave it. Yeshua? <laughs> Yeshua? Luna. Steve! <laughs> Yes, you are. <laughs> Is this what love feels like, Mama Blue? <laughs> I love you, Bob. I love you. I love you too, Mama Blue. Let's get you fed and cleaned. Would you like that? Get more squishy? Of course. Let it go, Luna. He loves me. I... I love him. This is not love. This is sickness. The red kitty squeezed me hard, Mama Blue. <laughs> he must love me a lot. See? He doesn't understand what the fuck is going on. Leave it. All of you, I've heard all of you. Okay? Just leave Bob be. He makes me happy. <laughs> Remember when she was like one of the deadliest killers in the Yosh? Why are you so easy on her? Can't you see she's losing it? When you come across a problem in circuitry, you have to gently remove the broken components. Ripping it out will just break the whole damn thing! All I know is when fuckers can't handle grief, they turn to easy ways out. Drugs, alcohol, fake love, sure, makes them happy, but it... It's toxic. It rots their minds. <sighs> we'll deal with Bob. Don't worry. In a way that doesn't break Luna. Enough of this. Are you ladies ready? We need to get across the pond and... We don't have the luxury of Simeon Airlines. I'm all good, doll. Yeah, just just let me grab a few things. Hi, hey, little dove. It's Halloween. You know who that means. You're going to try and eat me with a mouth in your chest. No. Alright guys, come and get a load of this pumpkin. So, do I get a Halloween kiss, little dad? You can bite my face off. Mwah! <laughs> Dang! Well, don't all fucking clap at once. So, how many people did you kill for the pumpkin this year? Fifteen. Fucking fifteen? It's not my fault everyone's tooting barbs. Whenever I try and get something in life, some cunt always wants to take my fucking money. And besides, Shuck helped this year, so... What the fuck do you mean, 15? He said I could eat the pumpkins he didn't pick. That's a fair deal. You are all fucked in the head. The good kind? There is no good kind. <laughs> has, has anyone seen Holly? She was supposed to be here at... About... 20 minutes ago. Let him go hear of this! You're to be executed! You too, Dorothy! Executed? For serving the Grand Voice? Hayden is not the Grand Voice! Ludwig is! Dorothy does not serve me, little fool. She and I serve the true Grand Voice. Lock it. <laughs> Bob, do you love Luna? I love Mama Blue. Yeshua, I... I thought you were going. I am. In just a moment. 
Bob, do you love me? Red Kitty, squishy me. I love Red Kitty. Bob, Yeshua hurt you. Now, Bob, do you love Lucy Lacemaker? I love Lucy. Bob, you've never even met Lucy. I love Lucy. I love Lucy. <laughs> I was squishy, squishy time with Lucy. <laughs> Bob, do you love Locket? I love Locket. I was squishy, squishy time with Locket. Locket killed everyone I've ever loved. She'd kill you at a glance. She'd make it last. She'd hurt your mama blue in ways your non-existent mind could never even imagine. Now do you still love Locket? I love Locket. I want Locket to feed me and clean me and love me and squishy me. Yeshua. Listen, listen! Yeshua! You're in charge of Vegas now. You hear me? That thing was a failed experiment. It never loved you. It never recognized you. It never even knew what love was. Not even for a moment. Fontaine has left the future of this city with you, and I won't leave you here with that cancer growing in your mind. He... It never cared about me. No. But I do. Now get over that little cunt and do your duty. Hello. Everything you just uh, watched, including all the Satellite City content up until this point, has been rendered on a service called Render Street. Uh, it's uh, a rendering uh, company that allows rendering for both Blender and uh, a multiplicity of softwares. Now, here's the thing if you want to support the production of Satellite City both now and in the future, then I urge you to subscribe to a Render Street monthly subscription using the link below. Uh, if you're an animator who dabbles in Blender or Modo or V-Ray, uh, then this is the rendering solution for you. But even if you don't, um, it helps the show in ways you couldn't possibly imagine. The episode you just watched wouldn't exist if not for Render Street. And Season 2 of Satellite City is beginning its production as Season 1 draws to a close. I want Season 2 to be comprised of 10 minute episodes. I want there to be episodes set in the Kibberwack where you get to see all the characters, what, what they looked like when they were younger, and a plethora of other things. Uh, and this is not possible without the support of Render Street. And by extension, without your support. I don't have a Patreon or any other donation thing, because quite frankly, uh, it doesn't interest me. I'll sell merchandise, that's how I'm going to do it. However, if you do want to support the production of Satellite City, sign up to Render Street. Rather than giving away £30 for some obscure GoFundMe, just cut out the middleman. But if you subscribe using the link below, uh, the production of Season 2 is going to go a lot better and you're going to get much better content from this channel. Um, so that's just one last little message from me, uh, Sam Fenner, proprietor of this channel. Uh, thank you for watching the video, there will be more, and um, thank you to Render Street for allowing this to even happen. Uh, and thank you... That's it.